imagine this. Someone close to you comes to you and complains that he's feeling tired. What would you do? This happened to me a few months ago. A good friend of mine came to me and he told that he was feeling suddenly so tired all the time. Well, we told him, you shouldn't be working so hard, because he was working really hard in a stressful environment. It's obvious he was tired. A few months passed, his fatigue continued, and he started getting trouble with his heart. He started getting palpitations. So he made an appointment with the general petitioner. He could go there in two weeks, and the general petitioner referred him to a cardiologist. The cardiologist, he took a blood sample, and then three days later, a bombshell. He received a phone call that his blood test was positive for cancer. He had a form of cancer. Immediately, he went to the hospital. He had a biopsy, which confirmed that he had, in fact, cancer. And right now, he is on the waiting list for an MRI scan due next week, which will allow the doctors to start making a treatment. Now, this story of my friend, this inspired me. It shocked me, but it also inspired me. I'm a theoretical physicist. I love studying the laws of physics, because they tell you exactly what is possible in this world. And I've learned that with technology, almost anything is possible. But I've also learned that a large part of the challenge is getting the technology out there in society. So I became an entrepreneur. I started thinking about my friend's problem. What went wrong here? Why did it take so long for him to get his diagnosis. Is it the healthcare system? Well, actually, as soon as the alarm bells went off, everything moved really, really quickly. And it took only, say, a couple of weeks for him to go from a GP to getting a, a, a full diagnosis. So the healthcare system is really efficient. It's absolutely not to blame. Now, the reality is, most of the time is wasted with my friend complaining about his fatigue and not doing anything about it. So what's the problem here? The problem here is that going to the GP has a high threshold. You don't simply go there with minor complaints like feeling tired, um, being nausea, um, having a headache. You will be told to go home and sleep it out, probably. So what can we do about this? Well, you have all these, um, this whole new field of technology, of self-diagnosis tools. There are really awesome tools in there. I mean, everyone knows the thermometer, but did you know that you can have your DNA sequenced cheaply on the internet right now? And there are so many sensors you can use. We have um, blood pressure meters, blood oxygen meters, cloth meters, um, glucose meters, you name it. Almost anything can be measured right now with the good technology. So why didn't my friend use any of those technologies? Well, he doesn't know about them, and neither does he want to know about them. You could give him a device that would measure every chemical component in his blood and list it in a long table of uh, um, parts per millions, but he wouldn't understand it. He wouldn't be able to interpret it. In fact, if you could, would give him a simple blood meter, blood pressure meter, and it would say that his blood pressure is too high for days on end, he would start ignoring the signals. So obviously, giving self-diagnosis tools is not the solution for my friend. And I think not the solution for the majority of people, really. So what can we do? We have this general practitioner right here, which is really high. And then we have the layman, who does not have access to any of those technologies. What I propose is to start something in between, to have first diagnosers, just like we have first aiders, to train volunteers in using these modern, fully automatic medical self-diagnosis tools, but using them on their friends, their relatives, their close ones. We can start simple courses using the technology that's already there. We can start today if we want to. Start educating people, volunteers, with only minor skill. I mean, the skill set would be equivalent to to using a glucose meter, to, uh, for, like someone who has diabetes. I mean, a lot of people can learn this stuff. And we need to train them. Using social media and online courses, we can reach out to a lot of people in a relatively short time. Wouldn't it be great if I would have taken such a course, and when my friend came to me, 
months ago, I could offer, hey, let me just check you up. I've done this course, I have this equipment, I can just check you up and see what's wrong with you, at least in some manner. Wouldn't it be great if we could find the very thing, the very protein in his blood using a simple test like the one Jack and Reka discovered? And then we would have discovered his cancer months ago, and he would be in treatment right now. Wouldn't it be great if um, within a few years everyone here would have someone who cares for them that would do such a thing for them, that could do such a important first early diagnosis. Thank you. <laughs>